Thank you, Trailer Told. Let's start now. Max Caulfield, the girl who could rewind time, is back. Let's thrash, Shaka bra. But when one of her new friends, Safi Llewellyn Fayad, is murdered in the grounds of Caledon University, Max finds that her chaotic power has changed. Now, Max must shift back and forth to reveal the truth of her friend's murder in an attempt to save Safi before it's too late. Once Max's new power manifests, she can send a pulse out from her fingertips at any time. While Pulse is active, she can peer through to the other world, seeing the differences between the timelines clearly. People and objects in the other timeline appear as dimensional echoes, allowing Max to avoid watchful eyes when shifting. Good thing I can keep an eye on Alderman from here. Wouldn't want to show up right in front of him. What the hell? While Pulse shimmers around her, she can also see places where the veil between the two timelines is at its thinnest. These shift points are where she can push through to the opposite timeline to help her investigation in a multitude of ways. Oh, do you need me to hold something or? Actually, yeah, I need an Allen wrench. Got one around here? Uh, no, I borrowed one from Carla, but I think she took it back. If you can go grab that from her, I'll owe you. This could be to solve a puzzle, convince a character to reveal a secret, or retrieve an object lost in one timeline by borrowing it from another. Better give this wrench to Moses. Shift points work in both directions, so you can shift back and forth from the same spot. So I found this guy named Alan, but he didn't know anything about a wrench. No, Max, not literally Alan. It's... Oh. <laughs> you are a lifesaver, Max. Dad joke aside. I'll never apologize for my dad jokes. If you're worried about losing track of which timeline you're in, well, Max herself may get confused too. Have you talked to Reggie since yesterday? Reggie? Crap! Wrong Loretta, Max! In the options, you can toggle a UI indicator every time you shift, confirming the reality you've just arrived in as well as there being visual cues such as cheery Christmas decor in the timeline where Safi is alive. Most importantly to Max's investigation, everyone you meet has an increasingly divergent duplicate in the other timeline. Depending on which timeline you're in, they'll react to Max and her probing questions very differently. A grief-sodden conversation in one timeline may unlock an unexpected heart-to-heart -heart in the other. Grief is hard. The trick is not to let it change your character. Everyone at Caledon is hiding something, and Max is the only one with a viewpoint unique enough to unravel those secrets and the determination to reach the truth at all costs. Everybody's talking about her like she had a heart attack or a car accident. But she was murdered. Someone murdered her. I don't know how we're expected to just be okay with that. Max has never been so powerful or in so much danger. The fates of her friends and of two timelines are at Max's fingertips. 